Convicted school shooter Nicholas Cruz was sentenced to life in prison without parole on Friday for murdering 17 people at Parkland's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. The jury said it could not unanimously agree that he should be sentenced to death. According to News Nation, Judge Elizabeth Scherer confirmed that three jury holdouts voted against the death penalty, ultimately sparing Cruz's life. Well, this decision has renewed debate over who, if anyone, is deserving of the death penalty. Criminologist at Northeastern University, James Allen Fox, tweeted that the mother of a teacher slain at Parkland reportedly said, quote, after the ruling, if this was not the most perfect death penalty case, then why do we have the death penalty at all? Uh, and then James Allen Fox points out in this tweet that exactly we shouldn't have the death penalty. Public mass shooters rarely get sentenced to death, just two since 2006, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, look, I'm not a, a necessarily a supporter of the death penalty in general, um, but this is this is not why I'm not a supporter of the death penalty. I like, I, I think it would be perfectly morally unproblematic if Nicholas Cruz was executed. He is clearly guilty. He killed tons of people. My issue with the death penalty is that we have, we have in the past, the U.S. government has wrong, has executed people who were later exonerated. Um, it has, ex it, you know, it has executed confused, mentally ill people who have confessed uh, because they were Under subjected arrest, to long, to, to long to interrogations um, or, or because of evidence that, you know, think later, that kind of thing. So we, we should not, we should not execute people because you can't, you know, even if you've, obviously it's still very bad to lock someone up for years, for decades, if they were innocent. There's, but in many of those cases, at least you can still, they're not, if they're not dead, you can still do something. If you later find out you made a mistake, you can try to make amends to them. You can't if you've executed them. And we executed people wrongly. So that gives me we've tremendous We've actually, we've pause. incarcerated people wrongly no, as well. We've um, and we shouldn't do that either. But it, death is final. There's nothing you can do if you've executed someone and they're later. So I don't trust the state basically with the power to execute people is what I'm saying. Although in cases where the guilt of the person is Un is so unambiguous as it is in the case of like the Parkland shooter or the Boston bombers or something. Probably the crime needs to have some additional like public terror or alarm kind of component as school shootings do. The I would DC have no sniper. I have no issue I would have no issue with him being executed. I, I wouldn't either. I, my my issue and I don't have one in with the death penalty broadly, it's more so the disproportionate effects of those mm -hmm. who um, who are found innocent later or those who did, should not have gotten the death penalty anyway, looking at the, um, the the effects particularly on my community. More people sit on death row who come from minority backgrounds than, than does anyone else. And part of that is a decision made by the justice system itself and the levers there that decide that criminality and being able to be reformed is something that's not possible for people of color in the same way it is for their white counterparts. The issue here that I have that I think that you, you spoke very um, very strongly on just now is that this is a cut and dry case. Yeah. I agree with the quote at the end of at the end of your statement. Um, I don't know of a death penalty case that is actually going to result result in the death penalty if this one doesn't. Yeah. Because there is no question that he did it. There is no question of the impact of what he did. There is no question of his understanding or acuity Absolutely. when he did it or the plans that went in place for him to do it. Um, I, quite frankly, I wasn't surprised at the verdict just because uh, mass shooters get the death penalty in very minimally across yeah. this country. Um, I, you can get the death penalty for things that don't relate to, ma to mass shootings more yeah. readily than you can a mass shooting. It's more so this led a nationwide movement to watch the, 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 the families of those that were lost, and even the survivors who, currently, who have survivor's guilt, who have you know, um, created avenues across the country to align people around common sense gun reforms. Those young people who will never be able to eradicate that horrible day from their minds, those people, what are you telling them and their families when you decide that this person is not worthy of the death penalty. I would like to talk to some of the jurors who made that decision. Yeah. Because I, I just quite frankly don't see how you could, not with all the evidence that was before Yeah, apparently you. there were three juror holdouts, so three people who didn't want uh, the death penalty. And I think these, the way they, they put people on these juries, I think you basically have, it, it's not like, well, they just happen to have someone on the jury who is against the death penalty. I, I, my understanding, of course, is different state by state, so I'm not clear exactly what the policy here is, but my understanding is to even qualify to be on, on the death jury, you have to 
agree that it is permissible to use the death penalty. Like you'll get, you won't get placed on it if you say, "Well, I'm against the death penalty in all cases, no matter how guilty the person is." So, so it is. So, given that but everyone on there but is, but then open you also to, have the honors of believing that this person, just yeah. because they check the box, doesn't mean that they are. That's possible. Um, yeah. the, the other part for me is that. Florida is home of stand your ground laws. Mm -hmm. You have absolutely no problem with someone crossing over in property and basically busting a cap. At the end of the day, you have no problem with taking away life readily um, of people who have not posed a, a death to you. So we see this, this situation where he shot and killed 17 people. Um, at that point, there should be no question, at least there's none in my mind, and I don't take the death penalty lightly, but cases like this, it's an automatic, mm -hmm. you're out of here. Like, I hope you well, the other, pray for salvation. The logistical problem with the death penalty now is becoming that- The drugs aren't available. Yes, the drugs aren't available, because lethal injection is a is actually just, an, in my view, a really awful policy. Um, I, we're trying to make death seem more medical or something. If, if you're gonna ex execute someone, The idea was it's supposed them, to be like, more humane. It's not a more humane, it is they, they, they absolutely like, oh, well, not more humane. It's not the same as electric shock, it's not the same well, as you shock to an electric chair. electric shock is terrible chair. too. But it, or or gassing or oh, you know yeah. standing in a firing squad, which certain firing states have squad said they want to do, do that. Firing squad um, is what we should do. Because. Quite frankly, to your point, the 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 drugs aren't yeah, readily available. Yeah, lethal injection is so not more humane. I mean, forget electric shock. That was a that was an inventor, um, an eccentric inventor, uh, uh, persuaded some municipalities to to do that because he was trying to sell his device. Like it's never worked very well at all. It's horrible and it doesn't succeed in killing the people. But yeah, the the, the drug, the combination of drug cocktails, we actually don't know that it's humane. Um, and, and and actually, in fact, sometimes it doesn't work, and then the people are in agonizing and pain. And we know that or, like, people feel it because the whole idea when terrible. they were pushing it was that you yeah. don't feel it was that the person it's doesn't not, and that's we've we've since learned we should that be clear about what we're doing if, if you're gonna if we're killing someone I mean, that's what we're doing it's 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 a it's a it's a violent thing if we're saying the state has the right to do it in extreme cases maybe like this one i if firing squad is by far a more humane method of execution than any of these things but people are all like i get this people are uncomfortable with that it's actually violence that we're doing and it, it seems violent so that would be my, it's my weird, actually I've seen a, there's a, there was someone on death row who was filing suit for the right to be executed by firing squad for precisely that reason. No, because it is obviously more humane. I mean, none of this is humane. Killing someone is not humane. But if we're going to do it, yeah, the, the, the drug cocktail is just really awful. It doesn't work. Sometimes they recover. They're half brain dead. They're, it's a terrible idea. Um, the final sentence by Judge Shearer will take place on November 1st, so that will be the sentencing to find out, you know, how, I think he's just going to get life in prison without parole, almost certainly, but we'll keep following that, and we'll have more rising right after this.